My name is Michela Martello. I was born in Italy, in Grosseto. I grew up in Italy and I moved to New York in 1998. I was invited by COPENYC with the Sierra Long Cultural Park for this art residency in 2022. And uh, I had the idea of creating a work inspired to Mazu because the first time that I arrived in Taiwan, which is, was 2018, I visited Mazu Temple and I seen many different temples, but the ones that were having Mazu statue were the ones that spoke more strongly to me. It kind of stayed within myself. So Grand Mazu Temple for me, it probably the major source of inspiration for this work. When I came back for this project, I went back to Mazu Temple and uh, more than once, and I did some drawing and I just spent time there. And I was lucky enough that good friends taught me how to do the different steps in order to make your offering to Mazu, which also brought me even more closer to her figure. And I wanted to do an installation honoring the presence of Mazu. For me, it was a, a strong call to finally make a work dedicated to Mazu. The first, when I did a sketching for this project, the first I started exactly from Mazu, because Mazu was supposed to be at the center of this group of uh, deity. So I started with her and the figure the way that I see Mazu in a picture or statue basically resemble a mountain. You just see the head and the hands. Sometimes you don't even see the hands. So it was very easy to draw Mazu compared to the other deities, but at the same time, it, it's like a symbol of uh, mountains or it's like a, a symbol of uh, something that creates collectiveness, it leads us to a center. At the same time, I study Tibetan Buddhism since many years and my main practice is connected with a deity called Green Tara. Green Tara is a little bit another version of Kuan Yin. So Kuan Yin is more revered in Southeast Asia and Green Tara is more Northeast Asia. And they both have a strong qualification related with compassion. Grew up in Italy. We grew up with the strong presence of Virgin Mary, Madonna, and I wanted to integrate these three deities with the presence of Mazu, interactive way, not just standing there, but having like a connection, a connection because of the compassion channel. This was the idea, the concept. and then I wanted to work with the materials that are not connected with an artistic work and I wanted to integrate that kind of material with this project. So I used uh, interfacing, irony interfacing, which it's cheap, it's a poor material, but it kind of resembles Japanese rice paper. And also this uh, installation is hanging within uh, pipe tubes, which is used for plumbing. It's a way for me to connect with everyday life using the iconic presence of deities that are not really part of our everyday life in the way we we think they are not, but actually they can very much be. Also the idea to have a strong connection with water, because first of all, Taiwan is an island, and as I understood, there are certain issues with water. Either it is because of typhoon or because of uh, scarcity of water. The connection also with Mazud, as uh, she is known as uh, the, the sea goddess. At the same time, it is like a protective uh, form against provocation that maybe could create scarcity related with water. And then Kuan Yin, she's always represented with the water around her. And uh, Virgin Mary, often she's depicted with tears in her eyes. Of course, tears is the water of our body. And uh, Green Tara actually is more like uh, connected with wind, with air, but is a strong 
qualification with compassion, she completely stand there within this group of uh, deity as a vehicle for auspiciousness. And so I also had this uh, pool inside of installation resembling Taiwan shape with a little bit of water. The island becomes water and uh, she's surrounded by the tutelary presence of these goddesses.